Can I use Power PCs as my main computer for a week? Well, I've done it before. Let's do it again. So this is actually going to be a video culminating my week. Um, but as you can see, I'm not home right now. I'm in Louisiana, but I did bring my iBook G4 with me. So this is actually the last day of our trip. Tomorrow we'll be traveling. But today I decided that I just need to do some mundane stuff because I'm on vacation. And so far, everything I've needed to do as far as YouTube videos, video games, and etc. It's pretty much easily been done on my iBook G4. So, I'm probably not even going to bother shooting these two days, and we'll just skip to day three. So, now. So, it's the evening of day two. It's like 10 o'clock at night. Um, just got home from my family vacation. I've not played with the power book, or the, uh, excuse me, the iBook at all, because I've been on the road. But... Now, I'm going to fire up the iBook and the PowerBook, get all my stuff synchronized, and go from there. So this is iFiles. It's $0.99 cents for iFiles 1 or $4.99 for iFiles 2. I bought iFiles 1 just to make sure that it would work. I would recommend you going ahead and getting iFiles 2. So there's a set of icons at the bottom when you open the app. The question mark is help. The Wi-Fi icon is a IP address that you access from any computer in a web browser. The globe is a web browser that you can use inside of iFiles. The up-down arrow is transfers in progress, and the settings bar is obviously settings. Or the gear icon, I should say. So when you click home, you have documents, movies, music, pictures, and welcome. I decided to keep things organized and put stuff in movies. And as you can see, there's my video clips. So, let's access them from the computer and download them. So as you can see, I access the website. And all I have to do is click download on a clip and hit save. And that's it. And so now I can easily wirelessly transfer videos or documents, or pictures, or whatever from my iPhone to my PowerBook, or iBook, or whatever. So, <clears throat> I went and shaved, woke up this morning, it's day three, and this, this is going to be weird. As you can see, I've been editing. It is taking forever. But my main problem is, I keep dropping frames. And I don't know if that's because I'm filming in 720p, but this is this is high movie HD. It should do 720p. Like I've even converted it to intermediate codec and everything. Like I don't know why I'm dropping frames. So I'm gonna try in Final Cut Pro, but if it doesn't work, sadly I found the first thing a power PC can't do. But uh, but yeah. So let me try that. Okay, so I stand corrected. Um, I exported it as a DV clip just to make it quick. Can I use Power PCs as my main computer for a week? But now I'm not losing any frames. Well, done it before. Let's do it again. So, I'm going to keep using iMovie for right now. I may just leave this running. <laughs> I don't know any better way to do it except for saving and just leaving it on the desktop, but I'm afraid of losing clips. So I may leave this running um, and just keep adding to the clips via iFiles as I go, but I don't know. I, I don't know. So this is day four, Happy Independence Day, and as you can see, my iBooks and pieces, because I'm finishing up the... PowerBook hard drive swap. Um, this is what I've mostly done all day, other than spending some time with family and watching fireworks and stuff like that. So, 
I know I didn't post a lot, but that pretty much concludes day three. I mean day four. Well, I killed the iBook. How, you may ask? <sighs> when I pulled up, zoom, or focus. I'm sorry, I'm very pissed right now. When I pulled up, I ripped the solder point from the power connector. There's no fixing it. I might as well dump it in the trash. Cannot believe I did that. The iBook is gone. The $7 iBook that I spent less than a week using. So the only computer that I've got left in this challenge is the PowerBook G4. It's going to be a very long rest of the week. So I didn't film anything for day five. Um, all I did computer-wise was print something off. That's not really that thrilling. Uh, but it's day six, and I've started my day out watching some YouTube videos. And I'm not sure why, but last night I hooked up a four-port USB hub to my uh, Dell screen because it has two USB ports. I don't I don't know why, um, but I kind of feel the need to have some extra USB ports. So that's that. Um, still looking on Craigslist, I, I found a potential power Mac. I'm not gonna replace the iBook. I've already decided. Even though I really liked it, even though it's probably my favorite laptop ever, it was just too underpowered. So I, I'm probably going for a Power Mac. Um, and I found, I found a potential one. But anyway, so that's, that's what I'm doing this morning. And more on that later. Well, I was going to show you guys Thunderbird email. But this is as far as I can get on the login stuff. So, looks like that doesn't work. Or, excuse me, not Thunderbird, but Tim 4 Bird. Looks like that crap doesn't work, so I guess I'll keep using a web browser. Okay, so that's, I gotta brag on myself just a little bit. I got Halo 1 from Macintosh Garden, but I changed the icon. Like, okay. This is what the icon used to look like. Hang on, let me pull it up. Like, Chief holding an assault rifle, and it had Halo Combat Evolved like written down here, but it didn't like it didn't match up with these circular, like just simple icons. So I found a picture of the Halo One Chief helmet online. And there it is, and I made it transparent, and I changed it. Like, how flipping cool is that? I didn't even have to use Candy Bar. Like, I just hit paste. Because it wouldn't open in Candy Bar. But, like, that is the coolest looking app so far. Is just having the Master Chief helmet on my dock. I think that's the coolest thing ever. I'm sorry, I'm geeking out right now. But, now I'm going to play some Halo. Most laughable moment of Halo 1. It's just the plasma pistol. But seriously, this is working perfect using the desk setup. I can't believe this. Recharging normally. Okay, I cut the sound off because, like, that could get me in trouble. But, seriously, this, I don't understand why people complain about Mac graphics being so bad back in the day. This is rivaling the Xbox. Like, it's, it's, it's not that bad. Now, you know, easily, easily I could play Halo Anniversary on my Xbox 360. It would look a lot better and probably be a better experience there's something about playing it on here it's nice it really is nice so I, I, I don't know I'm gonna keep it on here for right now um, I've got another game to check out in a minute or in your case a minute uh, in, in my case probably several hours from now because I'm about to leave the house but we're gonna try out some Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and I did it again. 
there's the original Knights of the Old Republic logo, which, or icon, which does not match up at all with the modern day stuff. And there's the one that I got from Icon Archive. And the game works perfectly. So, that is really awesome. And why am I so out of focus? Oh my god. Ooh, what is going on? There we go. But yeah, as you can see, like, I don't know. It looks more modern. I like it. Day 7. I made it. Um, just spent most of the day watching YouTube videos again, uh, played some Halo, played some of that Star Wars game, and honestly, even though it's middle of the day, I'm gonna have to wrap this up, and the reason is, I've got school in like, three, four weeks, give or take, and so I've got to find out whether I need to either hack and tosh the surface to have access to AirDrop and iCloud and stuff like that, or whether I need to fix the MacBook. So playtime's over. I've got to I've got to get back to work. But I'm not wrapping it up early because there's something I can't do. In fact, I was able to check my email, play videos, play video games do social networking, um, edit video, I was able, with the use of that iFiles app, I was able to airdrop. I was, there's really nothing I couldn't do on here. So, while I don't use the PowerBook outside of desktop mode, mainly just because it gets really hot and I don't, I don't like putting it in a bag, um, While I don't use it outside of desktop mode, I plan on continuing to use it. Um, in fact, I plan on using it as a desktop computer. This is my computer. This is, this is going to be almost like a main machine, if you will. So, I feel like the PowerPC challenge was a huge success. I know I didn't film as much as I wanted to, and I'm sorry for that, but life kind of gets in the way. I appreciate you all following me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments, and please don't forget to subscribe. As always, this is Adam. Take it easy.